Okay, this is the demo for Crooks from Calypso. The game itself is getting released on Tuesday. So, uh, you can pre-order. You get a big discount if you own Tropico, any of the Tropico games from Calypso. And there's also a 15% discount just for pre-ordering. So, in total, 25% off for uh, for Tropico owners pre-ordering the game. Now, normally, I wouldn't pre-order. But, in its favour, this game's got this nice demo which seems to demonstrate it works fine on Linux and uh, it looks quite fun from what I've played of it so far it's a, a squad based strategy thing uh, much like I would say door kickers except 3D it all started in Venice in the late 60s back when we weren't sure if we'd win the space race the aesthetic Some is, rusty had just is done the very first 70s walk. heist movie then the surveyor the first lunar soft lander was launched which brought the Luna Stone down to Earth. Back then, nobody really knew just how far out that rock was. Guess that's why they let the Europeans stick it in a museum. All of San Francisco was buzzing about it. We'd even found a potential buyer. When we asked Don Cesare to fund our heist, honey, he couldn't cut the check fast enough. Back then, there were still six of us. Murray's plan seemed airtight. That cat had thought of every detail. Basically, everything in Venice had gone according to plan. For Murray, anyhow. So, that's the uh, background plot. Uh, There's a tutorial, which I'm going to skip. Because I think I've got the hang of it now. Welcome to Venice, guys. Welcome and I'll we'll just skip the tutorial. You did it. Murray had totally screwed us over. There we go. Cesare bailed us out and we even found a way Murray to pay him screwed back. Us but over. after Venice, the team fell apart. And without a team, we had no chance to ever pull off the big jobs again. I suppose this is exactly what Murray had in store for us. No more sharing with anyone. Especially not the Luna Stone. Lobkowitz fell off the face of the earth. We didn't hear a peep from him for years. Rufus and Rocket, the Rollins siblings, went back to professional wrestling. All they really got out of it was bumps and bruises. Bishop founded an environmental group and dedicated his life to saving the planet. We'd occasionally do jobs together, but it wasn't the same. There were rumors that Murray had slimed his way into circles of people with power and influence. But no one really knew where that rat was hiding. Five years later, the Luna Stone was on exhibit again. In San Francisco, right in front of our faces. Accident or not, Bishop and I agreed that Murray would try to make off with the stone again. This time, he needed to pay for what he did to the crew. This time, the Luna Stone would be ours. And Don Cesare was ready with intel for step one of the plan. So there is quite a lot of rhetoric. I'm fairly sure you could probably skip over most of it. Uh, this is the game proper. We only have one heist open to us, so I'm going to do it. We're going to get some more... Uh, more intro. Let's see. The first plan of attack starts at Ringo Flamingo's villa. He owns a club and is buddies with Murray. Ringo Flamingo? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Somebody who hires a gun to guard his So, I've watched Somebody this mission briefing a couple of times now on the basis that I totally sucked Murray's at doing the actual mission. But I have figured the mission out now, so I can demonstrate to you doing it properly in a pair reasonably clever. Uh, I can tell you, I really want. But on the other hand, you will have less Amiga. Um, uh, what? So there are two floors. It's a nice thing. And I'm going to press escape to skip at this point. Some chloroform, some mission objectives. 
We've got to get through the doors. Keep in mind that we'll need to find the right switch. We need the key. Now you've got to use two people together to open doors for each other. Because that's how the switches are set up. Obviously, very realistic. Totally like that real life. And then you've got to exit over here where it goes to the second level. There's the exit point. Right. So let's skip the rest of that. Let's skip the rest of that because I'm not bothered doing the second floor. And uh, we'll just do the first heist. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look at the uh, what we've got up against. Slow weak guard. Slow weak guard. Slow weak guard. See, he's on a patrol, so we'll have to avoid him. Although we can, I've discovered, hide in that doorway there, which is useful. So let's select our crew. Okay. Got a lot to pick Not up. any options at the minute, because obviously other people haven't been unlocked. Let's play the heist. So, I said it was like door kickers, so what, oopsie, let's delete that, and it's like door kickers because you set these waypoints and then the waypoints have options, which is just like door kickers, so I'm giving her those options, Murray, I want you to go and hide behind the car. So the woman, she's a fast moving person. Let's go. I'm going to stash her over here now. And then we'll wait Let's for the guard. Away. To uh, go past Murray and run him round the back. I want the platform. We want to activate that switch because that switch opens this door. I find the controls a little bit awkward, especially the moving the camera around. But uh, I'm getting the hang of it after, after messing around and destroying a couple of times. I've done this four or five times. I succeeded once exactly. Alright, so now I want Murray to pick this lock. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cleopatra there. Yeah. Did she go through that door? No, I'm going to go here and get that switch, which will open that inner door after Murray's picked the lock. See, I've found one of Troll treasures. I'm not aiming to get all the treasures. I'm sure it'll be alright. So I'm fairly sure the guard isn't going to see him picking the door. Which is a pretty bad, pretty bad guard, I would say. What is the plan? Alright, here we go. Murray can pick that lock. Whatever this is. And then Murray can go and open that door to let Cleopatra through. And we're unnoticed. 
We got a hundred dollars. the exit. So there we go. We're on to the second floor. So I'm not going to do that now. You've got the general idea of the game. Uh, we have uh, light barriers and various other things. Obviously I'm only just getting started so So the light barrier is protecting the strong box, which is our optional objective. Or our main optional objective. Anyway, yeah, I like I like this. It's a very strong aesthetic. The gameplay seems fine. I'm at, oh, there's a high spoil, $100. So that's going to bring a guard down. Anyway, yeah, strong aesthetic. Gameplay seems fine. It's releasing on Tuesday. It's native Linux support from the beginning. Uh, it is probably a bit expensive, so wait for a sale if, if you agree or pre order it if you can uh, come to terms with, with pre ordering stuff. Sorry to speak. I uh, yeah, I quite like it. I think I may buy it. I'm not fully decided yet. You should definitely check it out though if you're uh, into these sort of uh, strategy games. It uh, seems to be a very uh, nicely presented one.